Hello everyone. And welcome back once again to another interesting video. In today's video we'll discuss, top 10 open source tools that every data scientist should learn. So if you are ready, let's start today's video. Recent years have seen tremendous growth in the field of data science, and open source technologies have been essential to this quick development. To gather, examine, and draw conclusions from enormous datasets, data scientists use a variety of tools and platforms. Open source software has changed the game by making it possible for data professionals to operate effectively, creatively, and economically. In this video, we will discuss 10 open source tools that every data scientist, regardless of experience level, should know how to use. These resources enable data scientists to take on challenging tasks, carry out in-depth analyses, and present data in ways that make sense. Let's get started with this useful toolkit. 1. Python Python is a high-level, versatile, and widely used programming language known for its simplicity and readability. It is an excellent choice for a variety of applications, including web development, data analysis, machine learning, scientific computing, and more. Here are some key aspects of Python. Readability. Python emphasizes code readability and uses a clean and straightforward syntax, making it easier for developers to write and maintain code. Interpreted language. Python is an interpreted language, meaning you don't need to compile your code before running it. You can write and run Python code directly. Cross-platform, Python is available for various operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. This makes it highly portable. Large standard library, Python includes a comprehensive standard library that offers modules and packages for a wide range of tasks, reducing the need to write code from scratch. Dynamic typing. Python uses dynamic typing, which means you don't need to specify variable types explicitly. Extensible. Python can be extended using modules and packages written in other languages like C and C++. This allows for performance optimization and interaction with low-level system resources. Community and ecosystem. Python has a large and active community. There are numerous third-party libraries and frameworks available, making it suitable for a variety of tasks. Open source. Python is open source and free to use, making it accessible to a broad audience. 2. R Programming. R is a programming language and environment that's primarily used for statistical computing and data analysis. It was created by Rossi Hacka and Robert Gentleman at the University of Auckland, New Zealand, and it's widely adopted in various fields, particularly in statistics, data science, and data visualization. Here are some key characteristics of R. Data analysis. R is designed with a strong focus on data analysis and statistics. It provides a wide array of statistical and graphical techniques and libraries. Open source. R is open source and freely available, making it accessible to a broad community of users. Packages. R's functionality can be extended through packages or libraries. There are thousands of packages available on the comprehensive R Archive Network or CRAN, and other sources, covering various domains like machine learning, data visualization, and more. Data Manipulation R excels at data manipulation and transformation. It has a wide array of tools for cleaning, transforming, and reshaping data. Data Visualization R offers powerful data visualization capabilities, with libraries such as ggplot2 for creating highly customized and publication quality plots. Scripting Language R is often used as a scripting language for data analysis. You can write scripts to automate data processing and generate reports. Community and Documentation 
R has a strong and active community, with extensive documentation and resources available. Integration Art can be integrated with other programming languages, and there are interfaces to databases, web services, and APIs. 3. Jupyter Notebook Jupyter Notebook is an open-source, interactive web application that allows you to create and share documents containing live code, equations, visualizations, and narrative text. It's widely used for data analysis, data visualization, machine learning, and scientific research. Jupyter Notebook supports various programming languages, but it's most commonly used with Python. Here are some key features and information about Jupyter Notebook. Interactive Environment Jupyter Notebook provides an interactive environment where you can write and execute code in small, manageable cells. This allows you to see the immediate results and iterate on your code easily. Multiple Kernels Jupyter supports multiple programming languages through different kernels. The most common is the IPython kernel for Python, but there are kernels available for R, Julia, and more. Rich text support, you can include narrative text in markdown format within the same document as your code. This makes it a great tool for creating data analysis reports, tutorials, and research documents. Data visualization, Jupyter Notebook integrates well with libraries like Matplotlib, Seaborn, and Plotly for creating interactive data visualizations. Export options, you can export your Jupyter Notebook documents in various formats, including PDF, HTML, and slideshows, making it easy to share your work with others. Extensions and widgets, Jupyter Notebook can be extended with various extensions and widgets to enhance functionality and interactivity. Collaboration, you can share your Jupyter Notebook documents with others via platforms like GitHub or Jupyter Hub for collaborative work. Jupyter Notebook is a powerful tool for data analysis and scientific computing. It's especially popular in the data science and machine learning communities for its ability to mix code, results, and explanations in a single document. 4. Scikit-Learn Scikit-Learn is a popular open-source machine learning library for Python. It provides simple and efficient tools for data analysis and modeling, making it a valuable resource for tasks such as classification, regression, clustering, dimensionality reduction, and more. Scikit-Learn is built on top of other Python libraries, like NumberPy and SciPy, and is widely used in the fields of data science and machine learning. Here are some key features and information about Scikit-Learn. Machine Learning Algorithms Scikit-Learn offers a wide range of machine learning algorithms, including supervised learning methods like classification and regression, as well as unsupervised learning methods like clustering and dimensionality reduction. Consistent API Scikit-Learn provides a consistent API for various machine learning models, making it easy to experiment with different algorithms and models without a steep learning curve. Data preprocessing It includes tools for data preprocessing, such as data scaling, feature selection, and feature extraction, which are essential for preparing data for machine learning. Model Evaluation Scikit-Learn provides functions for evaluating the performance of machine learning models, including metrics like accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. Hyperparameter Tuning You can perform hyperparameter tuning and model selection using techniques like cross-validation and grid search with Scikit-Learn. Integration with NumberPy and SciPy, Scikit-Learn seamlessly integrates with NumberPy for efficient numerical operations and SciPy for additional scientific computing capabilities. Community and Documentation, it has an active community, and the library is well documented, making it easy to find resources, tutorials, and examples. 5. TensorFlow TensorFlow is an open-source machine learning framework developed by the Google Brain team. It's designed to facilitate the development and deployment of machine learning models, particularly deep learning models. 
TensorFlow is known for its flexibility, scalability, and extensive ecosystem, making it one of the most popular choices for machine learning and deep learning applications. Here are some key features and information about TensorFlow. Deep Learning TensorFlow is particularly powerful for deep learning tasks, including neural networks and deep neural networks. It provides a high-level API called Keras that simplifies the process of building and training neural networks. Flexibility TensorFlow offers both high-level APIs, for example, Keras, for quick model development and low-level APIs for fine-grained control over model architecture and training. This flexibility is beneficial for researchers and engineers working on a wide range of machine learning projects. GPU and TPU support, TensorFlow can leverage GPUs and TPUs for faster model training. Production Deployment, TensorFlow provides tools for deploying machine learning models to various platforms, including mobile devices, the cloud, and edge devices. TensorFlow Serving is one of the components used for model deployment. Community and Ecosystem TensorFlow has a large and active community, which has contributed to a rich ecosystem of libraries, tools, and pre-trained models. This ecosystem includes TensorFlow Hub, TensorBoard for visualization, and TensorFlow Extended or TFX for end-to-end -end machine learning pipelines. TensorFlow 2.0 TensorFlow 2.0 and later versions introduced significant improvements in terms of ease of use and integration with Keras. It's more user-friendly and better suited for both beginners and experts. Swift for TensorFlow, TensorFlow also has a Swift API, making it accessible to developers who prefer Swift as their programming language. Integration with other libraries, TensorFlow can be used in conjunction with other Python libraries like Scikit-Learn, NumberPy, and OpenCV, allowing for versatile machine learning pipelines. TensorFlow's versatility and extensive community support make it a powerful choice for a wide range of machine learning and deep learning projects. 6. PyTorch PyTorch is an open-source deep learning framework developed by Facebook's AI Research Lab or FAIR. It has gained significant popularity in the machine learning and deep learning community due to its flexibility, dynamic computation graph, and support for neural networks and deep learning research. Here are some key features and information about PyTorch. Dynamic computational graph. One of the defining features of PyTorch is its dynamic computation graph. This allows for more flexibility when defining and modifying neural network architectures during runtime. It's particularly advantageous for tasks like natural language processing or NLP and recurrent neural networks or RNNs. NumPy-like interface, PyTorch provides a NumPy-like interface for tensor operations, making it easy to work with multidimensional arrays and tensors. GPU acceleration. PyTorch supports GPU acceleration, which significantly speeds up training and inference for deep learning models. TorchScript, PyTorch introduced TorchScript, which allows you to convert PyTorch models into a serialized representation that can be executed independently from the Python runtime. This is useful for model deployment and serving. Libraries and Ecosystem, PyTorch has a growing ecosystem of libraries and tools, including transformers for NLP, Torch Vision for computer vision tasks, and PyTorch Lightning for organizing PyTorch code into a structured format. Community and Research PyTorch has a strong connection to the research community, and many cutting-edge research papers and models are implemented in PyTorch. This makes it a great choice for researchers and practitioners alike. Scalability PyTorch is scalable and can be used for both small projects and large-scale applications, including distributed training. PyTorch is well regarded for its flexibility and dynamic nature, making it a preferred choice for researchers and deep learning practitioners. It's commonly used in areas such as computer vision, natural language processing, and reinforcement learning. 7. Apache Spark 
Apache Spark is an open source, distributed computing system that's designed for big data processing and analytics. It provides a fast and general purpose cluster computing framework for distributed data processing, making it a powerful tool for processing and analyzing large volumes of data. Here are some key features and information about Apache Spark. Speed, Apache Spark is known for its speed. It can process data much faster than traditional distributed computing systems like Hadoop, mainly due to in-memory processing and optimized execution plans. Ease of use, Spark offers high-level APIs for various tasks, making it accessible to developers with varying levels of expertise. It provides APIs for batch processing, real-time data streaming, machine learning, and graph processing. Distributed Data Processing Spark distributes data across a cluster of computers, allowing for parallel processing. It includes a data storage system called Resilient Distributed Datasets or RDDs that can be cached in memory for fast access. Built-in Libraries Spark includes built-in libraries for SQL, Machine Learning or MLib, Graph Processing or GraphX, and Stream Processing or Structured Streaming. This enables a wide range of data processing tasks in a single framework. Community and Ecosystem Spark has a vibrant and active community, and it's part of the larger Apache ecosystem. There are numerous libraries, tools, and extensions built around Spark, making it versatile for different use cases. Integration Spark can be integrated with various data sources, including Hadoop Distributed File System or HDFS, Apache HBase, and many others. It can also be used in conjunction with programming languages like Python, Scala, and Java. Fault Tolerance Spark is designed to be fault tolerant. If a node fails during processing, Spark can recover lost data and continue processing without data loss. Apache Spark is widely used for a variety of big data and data processing tasks, including data transformation, machine learning, real-time streaming analytics, and more. It's a valuable tool for data engineers, data scientists, and developers working with large-scale data processing and analytics. 8. SQL SQL, or Structured Query Language, is a domain-specific programming language used for managing and manipulating relational databases. It's a fundamental tool in data management and plays a crucial role in various software applications, including database management systems or DBMS. Here are some key points about SQL. Relational databases, SQL is used primarily with relational database management systems or RDBMS, such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, and SQLite. These systems store data in structured tables with rows and columns. Data Manipulation SQL allows you to perform various operations on data, including querying or retrieving data, inserting, updating, and deleting records. It also supports the creation, modification, and deletion of database schemas, like tables, indexes, views, etc. Declarative language, SQL is a declarative language, meaning you specify what you want to achieve rather than how to achieve it. You describe the desired data, and the DBMS optimizes and performs the necessary operations. Structured query, SQL statements are structured in a specific way. Common SQL statements include select, insert, update, delete, create, alter, and drop, among others. Query language, SQL is used for writing queries to filter and retrieve data from a database. You can specify conditions, sorting, grouping, and more. Data integrity, SQL enforces data integrity through features like constraints, for example, primary keys, foreign keys, ensuring data accuracy and consistency. Normalization, SQL supports database normalization techniques to minimize data redundancy and improve data integrity. Transactions, 
SQL allows you to define and manage transactions to ensure that a sequence of operations either all succeed or all fail, ensuring data consistency. Aggregation SQL provides aggregation functions like SUM, COUNT, AVG, MAX, and MIN to perform calculations on data within a table. Join operations SQL supports joining multiple tables based on related columns to retrieve data from multiple sources in a single query. SQL is a fundamental skill for anyone working with data and databases. Whether you're a database administrator, data analyst, software developer, or data scientist, a good understanding of SQL is essential for efficiently managing and retrieving data from relational databases. 9. Tableau Tableau is a powerful data visualization and business intelligence or BI software application that allows users to create interactive and shareable dashboards and reports. It's designed to help organizations analyze and visualize their data, gain insights, and make data-driven decisions. Here are some key features and information about Tableau. Data connectivity, Tableau supports a wide range of data sources, including databases, spreadsheets, cloud-based data, web data connectors, and various file formats. It can connect to structured and unstructured data from diverse sources. Data preparation. Tableau offers tools for data preparation and transformation, allowing users to clean, shape, and aggregate data before visualization. The software provides features like data pivot, data source blending, and calculated fields. Drag and drop interface. Tableau's user-friendly interface allows users to create interactive visualizations by dragging and dropping fields onto a canvas. You can easily create charts, graphs, maps, and other types of visualizations. Interactive dashboards. Tableau enables the creation of interactive dashboards that allow users to filter, drill down, and explore data dynamically. Users can click on charts to filter other related charts, making it easy to uncover insights. Data exploration. Tableau supports ad hoc data exploration. Users can build visualizations and explore data without having to write complex SQL queries or scripts. Sharing and collaboration. Dashboards and reports created in Tableau can be shared with others through Tableau Server, Tableau Online, or by exporting as images or PDFs. This facilitates collaboration and reporting within organizations. Security and authentication. Tableau provides robust security and authentication features to control access to data and dashboards, ensuring that sensitive information is protected. Extensibility. Tableau can be extended through APIs, custom scripts, and third-party extensions, allowing for integration with other tools and systems. Mobile accessibility. Tableau supports responsive design, making it accessible on a wide range of devices, including mobile phones and tablets. Community and resources. Tableau has a vibrant and active user community, which provides support, resources, and a platform for sharing knowledge and best practices. Tableau is used in a wide range of industries, including finance, healthcare, marketing, and more, to visualize data and gain insights. It's a valuable tool for data analysts, business analysts, and anyone involved in data-driven decision-making. 10. GitHub GitHub is a web-based platform that provides a wide array of services related to software development and collaboration. It's primarily known for its version control and source code management features, as well as for facilitating collaborative work on software projects. Here are some key features and information about GitHub. Git version control. GitHub is built around Git, a distributed version control system. It allows developers to track changes in their code, collaborate with others, and maintain a complete history of their project. Repository hosting, GitHub provides a platform for hosting Git repositories. Developers can create public or private repositories to store and manage their project's source code, documentation, and related files. 
Collaboration, GitHub enables teams to work together on software projects. Multiple contributors can collaborate on a project simultaneously, making it a powerful tool for distributed and remote teams. Pull requests, developers can propose changes to a project by creating pull requests. This mechanism allows for peer code review and discussion before merging changes into the main code base. Issues and bug tracking, GitHub offers a system for tracking issues and bugs. It allows users to report problems, assign tasks, set priorities, and provide a structured way to manage project-related work. Branching and merging, Git's branching and merging capabilities are fully integrated into GitHub. Developers can create feature branches, experiment with new ideas, and then merge their changes back into the main branch when ready. Wikis and project pages, GitHub provides tools for documenting projects, including wikis and project pages, which are written in Markdown and can be used to create project documentation and guides. GitHub Actions, GitHub Actions allows you to automate workflows and tasks, including continuous integration and continuous deployment or CICD processes. GitHub Marketplace, this is a marketplace for apps, integrations, and developer tools that can be used to extend the functionality of GitHub. Security and Access Control GitHub offers a range of security features, including two-factor authentication, access control, and code scanning to help keep projects secure. Community and Social Features GitHub is a social platform for developers. Users can follow other developers, star repositories they find interesting, and contribute to open source projects. Education, GitHub provides features for educators and students to use GitHub in a classroom setting, making it a valuable tool for teaching and learning software development. GitHub is widely used in the software development community, both for open source and proprietary projects. It's an essential platform for version control, collaboration, and project management, and it plays a central role in modern software development workflows. All for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell for more content. So you don't miss any upcoming video. And, if you have any questions or topics, you'd like us to cover in future videos please let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring and keep coding. Thanks for watching, and happy coding.